response. <laughs> Thank you for the resub and the confusing message. Appreciate that. Quest item over there. Okay. Iron wealth spent. Oh wow, lore page level up. You've returned. Are you ready? The fates of those thieves are inconsequential to us. All that matters is that the fetish is back in our hands. Now, for our end of the deal. What's next? In now forgotten times, our kind used to travel to Ubdumbog in order to perform dark bindings at the altar of Ratosh. The altar has not seen use in decades, and now lies forgotten on the northern edge of the bog. However, it is a place where the veil between realities is at its thinnest. How will this help me? The altar of Ratosh is a rare place in Cairn where one can pierce the veil. I've marked Ulgrim's keepsake with the runes of seeking. Place it upon the altar, and a way into the void should be revealed. Whether you find your friend alive on the other side, or just his tainted bones, that I do not know. But the void may offer you more than just salvation for Ulgrim. Once it had served as a means of traversing great distances, and not always with predictable results. If the cult of Cathan had opened rifts near Malmoth, Perhaps you can use the void as a tunnel. While I cannot promise you success, it is perhaps your only chance of bringing back Ulgrim and reaching Malmoth. Seek out the Altar of Ratosh in the northern reaches of Ogdumba, beyond Barrowhorn. I wish you luck. All right. Wait, she has another now quest. Now you have what you came for, I was wondering if we could do more for one another. What do you got in mind? Ever since the Ugdenbog fetish was stolen from us, our wards have weakened and some of our protective spells have even failed us. To put it simply, we are exposed out here, and that makes us uncomfortable. We have plans to restore our wards, but for that, we require new materials. If you are willing to assist the Coven, with compensation for your efforts, of course, we will require some more exotic ingredients. First, we require Venom Gaze Bile from the Basilisks in Ugdumbog. Only the mature ones will do, as the venom must be extra potent. Will this suffice? Secondly, yes, perfect. You continue to be a service to the Coven, for which we thank you. But though we now have the materials we need, there is a threat that not even our wards will be able to protect us from. Go on. Deep beneath Ugdumbog. A vast network of caverns and roots traverses the entire region. We call it the undergrowth. Centuries ago, a single seed sprouted roots within those caverns. It grew to become a massive creature known as Silvaria. Yeah, she I've already killed that. Good. Perhaps in time, new plant life will sprout from her remains that brings a healthy balance to the ecosystem. Our matron, Melostria, will be pleased to hear this news. In fact, all right, I'll talk to the matron. I love that it's retroactive with the quests. Seems we owe you a debt of gratitude. The sisters you found while in Ugdabag have all returned. You're welcome. Click these links. See, scraps rated smite, crap. Glad they're safe. Major. Gloradia speaks of your accomplishments as if they are meant to impress me. Tell me, young one, are you prepared to do what must be done? Let's find out. At least you are determined. Very well. One of our own has become tainted by the false promises of the Wendigo. Yeah, I already spirit. killed her. It appears Gloradia was right about you. Here, a little gift in Anything else? Yes. I'm beginning to see your purpose in our coven. What do you want? Not far from the refuge, within Ugdenbog itself. 
The coven had prepared three ritual sites in order to focus. All right, restore the wards to protect the area. Okay. The eastern, northern, and western circles. Hmm, gotta find them. That was the northern one. Love this game. I'm playing a Ritualist 2 right now, but a completely different play style. The variety is wild. Yeah, it's great. Eastern one. Wait, I think I remember this one. Remembering way, way back in the past, running around for ages trying to find the Western Circle, and it's on the opposite side of the town. Skeleton gear. Gathering within What's next? As much as you have done here. I'm not. All right. All right. So next up, go back to Barrow Home. Shows up, does everything before it can be asked, answers every quest with already done, that leaves no explanation. Awesome. I am also a witch. I saw in my tarot cards you wanted me to commit great murder. And they're like, what? We didn't want that. And I'm like, it's already done, don't you worry. Strange totem seems to be inactive. Uh, I think that might have been a barrel home quest if I had tried to win them over. I, I, I remember doing something with those. I don't remember what, but I also remember that uh, I, I just attacked barrel home this time. So I didn't get a refresher on their quest log.
Have you played Wolson? Yes, that is one of the only games I've ever refunded on Steam. So, Wolson for years sat without any content updates, and during that time period, I bought it. And I knew it was an early access, but that was one of the buggiest, most broken games I'd ever seen in my life. So, like, Steam usually does, like, put refunds, no questions asked, if you've played less than two hours. I had played, like, three or four, and then tried to refund it, refund it, and they were like, what's the reason for refunding it? And I just wrote, it's Wilson. I, I tried it, and it was really not good, and they refunded it. <laughs> I just imagine that at Steam HQ, like on the wall, it's like if anyone just says it's Wilson, just give them their money back. Now, I have heard since then that they did some updates and stuff like that. I've not played those updates. I don't know how it is now. It was funny too, because like it, at the time that I got it, like let's say it was like March 15th. Uh, I had a friend message me, and they're like, "Dude, check this out! The game got a huge update on March 14th. It uh, it's it's like really good now. I think you should get it." And I'm like, "Oh wow, yeah, it does look cool." And I bought it and tried it, and it turned out its update was March 14th the previous year. It had been 366 days since the last update, and I was like, "Oh god," but we didn't uh, we didn't see the year on the date. I uh, can't agree more on Wilson. Buggies came on Steam. They did nothing to fix those bugs for years. Yeah, I don't know how long it was in that state. Um, like I said, I've heard that since I refunded it, they did like another big update after like a, over a year. But I haven't had the desire to go back and try it again yet. Maybe someday. I remember the concept uh, trailer and stuff for it looked really cool, but just the final product, well, the final product as it is right now, I just couldn't get into. Skill trees and passives were excellent. Uh, do you wish to use a dynamite to open this box? Yes. I'm sure, nothing bad could possibly happen with me blowing up dynamite right in front of my face. And nothing bad happened. Was like persistent cold damage from those puddles. Mm. 
assume it's cold damage. No combat lock. Savage Shrine. I'll do that in a minute. That skill's not ready. Wendigo main leggings. Bonuses to blood boil and siphon souls. Oh no, ghost crabs, the spookiest of crabs. It's Ghost Crawler. From World of Warcraft dev support. I can't do that. That's a big fella. Hellion Greaves. Flame burst skill. Guessing that was the final boss of the mines. Uh, the overall graphics and combat experience of Olsen are great, but nothing screams pain than getting randomly DC'd and having to start the map all over again. Same uh, goes for all progress you made within that time frame. Everything resets. It's like, for example, if I got DC'd on Grim Dawn. This, the monsters in this level would probably respawn, but I'd still have the map opened up and I'd still have the loot. You're saying it just undid everything in Wilson if you DC'd? That's unfortunate if I'm understanding that correctly. Lots of crafting materials. It was so nice when they added auto pickup for crafting mats to the game. When I first started playing Grim Dawn, that wasn't a thing. So if a bunch of them dropped, you had to click on them all one by one. Very good addition to the game. Nice quality of life thing. Skills not ready. Let's 
destroyed ward. Yeah, I think that's the quest I didn't end up picking up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when you do you see the quest, the map progressions, and it's the same for every map, it's like Russian roulette. <laughs> Sounds like uh, they need to make sure they've got very stable servers. That's unfortunate. Man, imagine a single player game requiring an online connection. That would just be silly. That would be madness. Olgrim's heirloom. Portal opened. Right, so we're in. Uh, we're in the spooky place. Woo. Woo. <laughs> hey, Doctor Indecisive. Thank you. Welcome back. Two thousand nineteen days of daily streaming. That's almost one for every uh, year since the start of the Gregorian calendar. Almost. Yeah, we're over five years now. Some skeletons. I got too many skeleton mages right now. I'm gonna resummon and see if we get something else. Okay. I can't do that. I love when the little summon guys do that little Nova thing, because it, like, destroys all the destructible environment around them. It's like a bit of eye candy. That skill's not ready. See. Ashton says, hey Muck, were you going to play the new PoE League? They've redone and combined a number of mechanics that were intended to change how skill gems function by introducing transfigured gems. Also, the new League mechanic looks like it's introducing new and powerful raised specters. I know you love minion builds. I do love minion builds. Case in point. Um, I don't know. I, I would consider it. I do love Path of Exile. I have over a uh, thousand hours played. Uh, it's just a matter of... As it, Are those skulls? I just realized the ground's made of skulls. That's a lot of bones. Uh, in the past... Now, granted, it's been a while since I've tried streaming PoE. But in the past, my audience have gotten bored of watching it pretty quickly. So I'm always nervous about that as a content creator. But I do greatly enjoy it, so might give it a try if I'm not in the middle of something else I'm more interested in. Like right now, I'm very looking forward to um, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader that comes out on Thursday. Which is made by the people who made uh, the Pathfinder games. And so I'm super looking forward to playing those. 
That'll probably be the new morning game. Evening, uh, near, you know, once I finish up the, uh, Age of Wonders 4, then evening I am not sure what'll be after that. That's coming out, looking forward to that, yep. Edge. Was a misclick. I forgot you could even pause this game. <laughs> like, usually, if I have to pause, I open up the menu. I forgot this game has a legitimate pause button. There's half my health. I, has, I have some Cathonic resist, but it's not like huge. What is it right now? Uh, 23? Is that Chaos 24? Yeah, I think, I think that's what the Chthonians use. secret area here. Uh, Good night says I wish PoE was more optimized and maps I usually die to ground effects that don't load or render weird and I uh, can take like three of those types of deaths before I'm done. If you play on hardcore you can only take one of those deaths before you're Feels like a boss room. Are you a boss room? Oh look, it's Satan. Yeah, I think I'm in a boss room. That skill's not right, I just popped all the cooldowns. Did the music start up as I killed him? Oh, Grim Dawn, you silly.